concept that is uh, tightly linked to regret theory is loss aversion. So what is loss aversion? Loss aversion simply is a tendency to strongly prefer avoiding losses to acquiring gains. Some t studies suggest that uh, losses are twice as powerful psychologically as gains. So let's talk about a little example here of that. Loss aversion implies that one who loses $100 will uh, lose more satisfaction than another person will gain satisfaction from a $100 windfall. Note that whether a transaction is framed as a loss or a gain is very important in this calculation. For example, would you rather get a $5 discount or avoid a $5 surcharge? Depending on how you frame it, you will get a different answer to that question. This leads to risk aversion since people prefer avoiding losses. Also, as an example, price increases um, have twice the impact of price decreases. That is, price increase is perceived as a loss. Price decrease is a gain, but again, the price, uh, the price increase or the loss psychologically is weighed twice as more heavily in satisfaction loss than the, than the price decrease in terms of satisfaction gain. So when we think about loss aversion, we think about what would affect us more psychologically. For example, would a 10% gain affect us more psychologically in terms of um, satisfaction with our portfolio and investing experience? Or would a 10% loss affect us more? Or would they be exactly the same? Psychologists tell us that, in fact, the 10% loss would have twice the impact, the negative impact, on satisfaction than would a 10% gain. This, therefore, causes us to be uh, investing and making decisions to avoid losses as opposed to, uh, to optimize our portfolio to uh, maximize our gains. You can see easily here that this could cause us to make very bad uh, investment decisions.